We're getting ready to go storm the hill for Debbie's dream. We're going to advocate for stomach cancer research. Very excited to be going up to Capitol Hill. This will be our third trip. I'm gonna go see the Texas folks specifically and try and get some more money to, to save some lives. Even though I was asymptomatic, uh, I still presented with stage 3B disease. And the doctor said very explicitly to him, um, this is treatable, but it's not curable. Um, and then he said, you maybe have about 12 to 18 months to live. I don't think many people know that stomach cancer is a killer. Sometimes, you know, it's really just about um, spreading awareness about, about the fact that there are a lot of people out there that are fighting this disease and maybe they can't make it here today. So, so we're here to, to kind of speak for those people. I wasn't just looking for somebody to give me some chemotherapy. I was looking for extension of my life to raise my kids. We're going to Capitol Hill to get everybody on board. Trees. Awareness and funding for stomach cancer so we can work towards a cure. Stomach cancer has, per cancer death, the least amount of cancer research funding out there. In 2015, about 11,000 Americans died from stomach cancer. I have a 14% chance of living five years. I am at almost two years. So the first ask was to remain um, part of the Department of Defense uh, peer review cancer research programs, $50 million bucket of uh, cancer research dollars. My father passed away from stomach cancer. Um, we both share a gene, a mutated gene called CDH1. And um, I discovered that I had it after uh, I was genetically tested. I think the more we're learning about cancer of all kinds, uh, the more we realize that even though any particular cancer may be in, an organ, say for example, stomach, is different for everybody. It's it's not a it's not a homogenous disease. So what's happening right now is a lot of the new drugs that are being developed for all kinds of cancers are drugs that are designed to specifically block the particular genes that are sometimes turned on in cancer. And so if you can imagine you have three different patients and there are three different genes that are turned on, you know, one has gene A, one has gene B, one has gene C. If there's a drug that blocks gene A, that drug would be more effective in a patient where gene A is turned on rather than gene B. Because we don't have effective screening and because this is a relatively uncommon cancer, about 40% of patients will present with more advanced stage 4 metastatic disease. Uh, the second ask was to have the senator sign a letter to the National Cancer Institute to ask for uh, stomach cancer researchers and scientists to submit applications for research uh, in the field of stomach cancer um, to try and get, you know, tap into those federal research dollars. Research equals hope, equals better options in treatment, equals survival. And awareness needs to be raised. Anything we can do coming from central Wisconsin to Capitol Hill to raise awareness is worth it if we get one person screened early. And it ended up being stage four cancer. He was diagnosed on the 16th of April. And he passed away May 22nd. <sighs> they started to do some more full body scans and through the process of elimination, they figured out that I had stage four stomach cancer, which was very shocking to me because I had never had any stomach issues to begin with. Um, so when everything manifested itself, it was in my neck. Um, they also had found metastatic lesions to my liver, to my lung, and also to my left femur. I get, I get really sad when I think of the kids and the people that are 30 years old that have small children that are gone through this sort of thing and it's so preventable if we could just get the word out and get the screening done and do some research so we can find better ways to fight this and and it'd be nice if they could catch it sooner so that the person could go through the treatments and actually go back to work unfortunately i'm to the point where i i can't do heavy construction again if i can do an hour's worth of housework around the house a day that's a, an awful lot
We need to do more. Um, I, I think that what the President said in the State of the Union address that we're going to make uh, this uh, mission to cure cancer. I just met with Senator Hirono, the Senator from Hawaii, and presented her with our Congressional Champion Award. It's been so wonderful working with her in her office. They've championed stomach cancer and they're making a big difference for us. Devoted to making sure that we have all the money we need to get the research needed so we can eliminate the stomach cancer. As we know, that's one of the harshest uh, cancers that uh, one can get. Debbie had a dream. She was gonna beat cancer, but wasn't just gonna be her beating cancer. She really very inspiring because she, you took something that was adverse in your life and you turned it into something hopeful, not just for you, but for thousands of other people. Well, here's our goal. We're gonna make Debbie's dream come true. All right. Without people and organizations uh, like you supporting causes like this, um, there would be a lot less glimmer of hope. So I just want to say thank you from, from my family uh, for, for providing Debbie this opportunity.